Paul always bets $1 on the number 13 at roulette, against the advice of Raghav. To help convince Paul that playing roulette is a bad idea, Raghav bets Paul $20 at even money that Paul will have lost money at the end of 36 rounds. Should Paul take Raghav's bet? This problem comes from the book 50 Challenging Problems in Probability. Take a few seconds to pause the video and try out the problem for yourself. Now let's look at the solution. Let's start by bringing out a roulette wheel so that we can better understand the setup for the problem. A standard American roulette wheel has 38 spots on the wheel. If you win, you get 36 times your bet back, else you get 0 times your bet if you bet on an individual number. This is because there are 36 numbers from 1 to 36 in addition to two green zero tiles. Now let's focus on what the question is asking us for. We want to find the probability that Paul will have lost money at the end of 36 rounds. Let's start by defining a variable x, which is the change in Paul's account value after 36 rounds. Now we know that we want to solve for the probability that x will be lesser than zero, or that Paul will have strictly lost money at the end of 36 rounds. Further, we notice that the payoff of winning even one round is $36, and the cost of playing all 36 rounds with $1 bets is $36. Therefore, if Paul wins even one of the rounds, he doesn't lose money. Thus, finding the probability that x is less than 0 is equivalent to finding the probability that Paul loses every single round he plays. To try to compute this, let's start by computing the probability that Paul loses one round. For any given round, he loses if the ball lands in 37 of the 38 spots. Now, we can compute the probability that ball loses every round. Since all of the rounds are independent from each other, we simply find this by taking 37 divided by 38 and placing it to the power of 36. Alright, now that we have all this information, we can move on to trying to find some expected values. But first, let's get rid of this wheel. Alright, now let's find the expected value of a single round. We know that there's a 37 out of 38 chance that we lose a dollar and a 1 out of 38 chance that we gain $36. Thus, the expected value of a single round is minus 2 divided by 38. We can now use the linearity of expectation to calculate the expected value of x or Paul's count value after 36 rounds. Via linearity, this is simply minus 2 divided by 38 multiplied by 36 which gives us minus 72 divided by 38. Now that we've looked at Paul's performance with his strategy on the roulette wheel, let's also consider Raghav's bet. The bet has two branches. First, the plus 20 branch. This occurs if Paul wins the bet. The probability that Paul wins the bet is equivalent to 1 minus the probability that Paul loses every single round. Now, we look at the losing branch, where Paul gets negative 20 for the bet. If Paul loses the bet, this is simply equivalent to Paul losing every single round. Combining the information in both of these branches, we find the expected value of the bet. We simply multiply the values of each of the branches with the probabilities of each of the branches. Now that we have Paul's expected value with the roulette wheel, as well as Paul's expected value with Raghav's bet, we can combine these two to try to find the overall expected value for Paul's play if he takes Raghav's bet. Again, using linearity, we can simply add up these two expected values. Evaluating this out, we get 2.79 as a positive expected value. Therefore, Paul should take this bet. While Raghav has been trying to convince Paul that playing roulette is a bad idea, he himself has made an even worse decision. And so, we've managed to find a way to help Paul make his roulette profitable. Did you expect this to be the answer? Did you too side with Raghav initially, thinking that this bet would help convince Paul that playing the roulette wheel was a bad idea? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.